Speaking of innovative things happening in the smartphone market, this this rollable thing, rollable smartphone, we've talked about it a little bit in the past. As an alternative to the folding thing, which has been cool, but I don't know how much it's really taken off. I mean, you're not seeing it in the street so much. It's still a little bit of a fringe, a little bit of a premium thing. We've only seen it at those premium price tags as well. Well, LG wants to change that by going for a rollable approach to that next gen generation form factor. LG not hasn't been doing that great in a smartphone game. All right, I'm not breaking news with that. And if you scroll down a little bit here, LG's mobile business has posted 20 straight quarters of loss so far. Wow. And uh, I don't know, uh, I don't care what business you're in, Will. That's, uh, well, that's not going to be a good look. Mm -hmm. You can imagine if uh, if the uh, Lou Later broadcast posted 20 straight quarters of loss. You might have to shut the thing down. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, but they, they want to turn that around by thinking about form factors that no one else is thinking about. And I don't know if you remember this, but they were the first ones to show off flexible displays. I was there. I was in Vegas. I don't remember if you were there that year in CES when they had the the rollable. It was it was a no one knew how we were gonna even use it back then. Okay. I remember I made a video about it way back in the day. We didn't know how we were gonna use it. We just knew that it was interesting technology, the ability to roll and fold these displays. They didn't even know how they were gonna power it back then. Well, LG hasn't been all that interested for the time being in the foldable stuff, but they think they may have a play on a rollable thing, and they're going to call it B Project, named after the company CEO. His last name starts with a B. And they're also apparently going to target a price point around $800 is what I've read. So maybe it doesn't have to be some super premium thing. And they claim there's some advantage over rolling these displays in order to get a bigger smartphone work surface. They claim it could be a, a stronger thing to tap on and maybe more, maybe more durable. They're working on a prototype right now. And this new flagship is set to be launched in the first half of 2021. Current code name Rainbow. Could this be the thing to turn them around completely? Well, is this uh, exactly what the world has been waiting for? Never mind folding. We need rolling smartphones. It just might be. Wow. Endorsement from Willie Do. Uh, I, I have to say, if I was working on this project and I saw that type of endorsement, that would give me a little extra motivation to put it out. Yeah.